When I found out there's two million street dogs and there's only one million people in Cancun, I was, I was kind of floored. The enormity of the problem, I think, is what kind of overwhelms you. Head over population in tropical tourist destinations such as Mexico and the Caribbean is a huge problem. Candy, Cats and Dogs International, is solving the problem one animal at a time by offering free spay and neuter clinics in the areas they are needed most. We went to Cancun on a trip and my children saw for the first time dogs on the streets and the cats in the resorts and they were very affected by it. They went to me and said, Mom, can you help these animals? It's very hard to live here and care about the animals and not want to do something about it. It's our 10th animal spay and neuter clinic here in Cancun. When we first started doing the clinics, people would line up. They were almost fighting in line to get their animals spayed and neutered because there are no vets. Uh, Vita started working with Candy a couple of years ago. We decided uh, we were both working for the same purpose. We have different skills that we could each offer each other. The two organizations work very well to put something this size together. We are able to break a new record with how many cats and dogs that we do every single time we've been here. We break a record and it's just, it's incredible. And the need is still there. And, and we feel like we can still make a difference every time that we come. It sounds kind of selfish, but it really does make you feel good. And to know that what you've done at the end of the day is, is actually making a difference. You know, I want to stay involved as, as long as she wants to keep going with Candy and she's seeing a lot of results and, and I can see a really bright future for Candy too. In January 2013, with the support of Transat, Chris Fekovich invited several of his friends and teammates from the Canadian Football League to travel to Cancun to help with Candy's spay and neuter clinic. In February of 2012, I started Svets Pets, which is my own foundation. What we do is we take five local no-kill animal rescue programs, and all I do is fundraise for them. Football provides me a platform to kind of create awareness to a lot of the problems that exist. We both have dogs. We're both huge dog lovers, and when he told us about the situation down here, we hopped on board right away. You feel like you know only only one person, and and you. You wish you could help them all because there's so many out there. One of the biggest things we could do to help is kind of just to spread knowledge. It's really opened my eyes to see what's, uh, what's really out there with the way these dogs are being treated. At one point you feel incredible because you're out there, you're, you're grabbing dogs off the streets, you're helping dogs that are just abandoned. Like I said, the enormity of it all, to see that many dogs and that much malnutrition and, and diseases and stuff like that, it's a little hard to weather. I left Puerto Rico when I was a teenager and I moved to the States where I feel like we don't see this on a daily basis. And I just realized that I, I wasn't really doing anything about it anymore because I was shielded from it. She's an animal lover and she doesn't like seeing that. And so it's, you know, not being a part of the problem, part of the solution. I started off volunteering for them and now I work for them. And I just really love what they do. And I love, there are a few groups that do it. I really love that through working with them, I've gotten to know everybody and, and everyone genuinely does it because they're passionate about it. Like they really care. I feel like they wouldn't be able to not do it. And amazing to see the amount of support and, and uh, everybody coming out to uh, get their dogs spayed and neutered and, and take care of that epidemic that's been going on. That's what I'm excited about is creating programs that are sustainable and the only way that this can be done is getting the support of the travel industry and believing that this work is important. Candy has formed partnerships with several important companies in the travel industry, including Transat, one of the world's largest international tour operators and ACTA, the Association of Canadian Travel Agencies, which represents more than 14,000 travel professionals. These partners are dedicated to helping Candy improve the lives of animals around the world. I see Candy as an organization that's going to set the standard uh, for the humane treatment of animals within the travel industry. We were so happy that we were there, but then we're sad too because we know we're not going to be there next week and what's going to happen to the other puppies. So. I'm happy that they found us today, but what's going to happen tomorrow? These animals need your help. Please make a donation to Candy. To volunteer, donate, or learn more about Candy programs, go to candyinternational.org.